steady lip on just the gooseneck and the mouthpiece, we're ready to put the rest of the saxophone together. This is the body of the saxophone, that's the name that we give it, and this bit where the sound comes out is the bell. Now, you'll probably have a little plug in the top which you can just take out, that just protects some of our key work. And this gooseneck should just slip nicely into there because it's got a little bit of our cork grease on it. Now you should be greasing um, most of this cork bit but also a little bit on this bit um, quite regularly if it's a new instrument and just make sure it's always slippery enough to put it on easily. So if it's getting a bit dry then you need to put some more on. Now we tighten this screw just enough so that our gooseneck doesn't flop around. is a strap or a harness. It's really important that you always play with a strap and a harness. Nobody plays without one. Um, I use a strap. Um, some younger players like to use a harness because they're a bit more supportive. So if you're having trouble holding it or you're finding it's really heavy, then a harness might be a good way to go. A strap is good when it's really um, quite supportive and quite padded as well that will make it a bit more comfortable. I use a Neotech one because I find them comfortable because they have some wetsuit material. So just try some straps in your local music shop and see what's comfy for you. So we put that around our neck and then clip it in to that hole just there, about halfway down the instrument. And then you need to pull the strap up so that when you're playing the mouthpiece comes up to a comfortable height on your neck and you don't have to crane down or kind of crane up to get it in your mouth. Yeah. 